MedApps is a telehealth firm founded in 2006 by Kent Dix. The company specializes in wireless technologies for the remote health monitoring of its patients. Now, the key to what they do is called Health Pal. It's a device. Kent invented the device and founded the company, and he's with us this morning to tell us what it's all about. Hi, Kent. Thanks, Bob. Our, Our pleasure. pleasure. Fascinating stuff. Uh, wh where did you get the idea for this? Well, actually, I started with, uh, I have a, a Department of Defense background and a top secret clearance, and I started looking at monitoring soldiers from a distance and getting their, their vital signs and sending it back to a central location. I realized that there is a bigger niche about three years ago in our healthcare. Our healthcare is obviously having some problems out there and we're, we're trying to get uh, more healthcare in an economical manner out to more people and you've got to do it in a mobile way, in a cost effective way. So we moved it over to start working with companies like McKesson that do disease management to be able to empower their nurses that are in call centers to be able to monitor people from a distance in their home. And I presume this saves money for all concerned. It, it, it does. That's what we're really trying to do. The, the predecessors or the current systems that are out there uh, typically did a great job or doing a great job in not making a very sick patient go from uh, the home to the doctor's office just to be monitored. They've put systems in the home, typically plugged into a phone line that can monitor the patient, but a lot of times they're very expensive and they're very proprietary. This is less expensive and it's very mobile. Show us how it works. Okay, so uh, a lot of people that have chronic diseases, whether it's COPD, <laughs> asthma, congestive heart failure, hypertension, I mean there's 74 million people that have hypertension. They have the blood pressure devices at home or the glucometers like the LifeScan glucometers, but this is a pulse oximeter uh, made by Nonan. Uh, you can just put this right on your finger okay. if you want. Sure. Your doctor may say, you've got congestive heart failure. I don't know your history, but... No, I don't. Uh, okay. <laughs> Not um, yet. But this is going to go through, and it's going to, uh, number one, give your oxygen saturation, and it's going to give your heart rate as mm -hmm. well. When it goes through, it's going to send it wirelessly into this device here and talk to you as well in any language that we program with it. Mm -hmm. Now. That's as simple as what, what occurred. I mean, all the user had to do was go through and the doctor said, take your, take your pulse ox. Usually what you're required to do is to go through either to the doctor's office to take oh, it, sure. right? Or you have to write it down, remember to write it down, then take it to your doctor's office. And usually you go to your doctor maybe every 60 days, mm -hmm. 90 days, if you have to. This could be every day? Every day. And, and is it automatic? Absolutely. And that's the beauty of this is that it's automatically transmitted from your, your pulse ox over to this device. Mm -hmm. I haven't had to touch a button with it whatsoever. And if I leave it alone here for the next two to three minutes, it'll go through and upload it to the server automatically. And where it's uploading it to is into your, I think you've heard a lot about lately about electronic health records. Records, sure, of course. Right? Yeah. Healthcare reform. That's and where that's we're all going to end up eventually. It's going to be all electronic. Well, it, it saves us money yeah. as well, too. If, if your records can actually be in one place, you know, where a doctor can see them, even across healthcare systems, you know, you have these massive systems that are out there that are collecting data in a good way, mm -hmm. you know, so you can get proper care, but nothing's really feeding it, right? Nothing's really feeding it. You need systems like this to be able to talk to devices at home. All right, now, is this, it, are, is this purchased by the end user? Well, right now, I mean, it can be. Yeah. I mean, it's on our website, and they can purchase right. it if they want to do that. But where we're seeing the biggest uptake are the people that are financially responsible for, for patients. So uh, employers, like big employers, like, you know, um, Cleveland Clinic, you know, or um, AT&T. Uh, AT&T has 200,000 retirees out there that they are giving benefits to and paying for themselves every single day. So one of the things that we do with this is we will work with AT&T and United Healthcare and others to try to keep their employees mm -hmm. healthy and at home, thus helping to reduce healthcare costs. I mean, one of the things I say about this is that we consider this, this looks intimidating a little bit, it's technology and will, be, will people use it? We consider this about 20% technology and about 80% psychology. Well, well actually, it's, it sounds fascinating to me. We are out of time, so okay. I want to thank you very much, thank Ken, you. for coming. If you'd like more information on HealthPal,